Okay, so in this video, what we're going to be looking at is making a lemon battery. Okay, uh, in order to make the lemon battery, I have a few different parts here that I'm going to make you aware of. I have two cups of lemon juice. All right, um, you may have seen this experiment being done before with actual lemons. I decided to do it with lemon juice versus the lemons. I was able to get each, uh, or pardon me, I was able to get a bottle of lemon juice for a buck at a store. So it just made sense to go ahead and do it this way instead. Uh, here I also have two pieces of copper wire and I have two pieces of zinc wire that uh, actually are from paper clips. I also have three wires here, connection wires that I'm going to use that have alligator clips at the end. Um, in addition, I have a, a light emitting diode or LED and I have a voltmeter in order to check the voltage that's being produced from the lemon battery and also the LED that I talked about just previously. I'm actually using that to show that the lemon battery actually works and is capable of lighting something up. All right, so let's go ahead and make our lemon battery. And so what we're going to do is we're going to start off first with just one cup of the lemon juice. Okay, one cup of the lemon juice. To make the lemon battery, what I'm going to do is take one of the copper clips one of the copper uh, wires here along with one of the zinc uh, paper clips and I'm going to start off by just making just one battery out of that all right so in order to do that what we're going to do is this we're going to take our red wire here and we're going to use that in order to clip the copper wire to the cup here that's uh, holding the lemon juice and then I'm going to take the black wire here and I'm going to use that in order to clip the zinc paper clip to the cup here all right and so let me explain what these are so inside here like a typical battery we have two electrodes we have a zinc electrode and we have a copper electrode and that's inside of an acid solution just like what we'd have if we had a actual battery okay and so this now is our battery and let's go ahead and see how much uh, voltage we're actually getting from the lemon battery here and so in order to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to take the voltmeter and we're going to connect the voltmeter's uh, probes here. Okay. I'm just going to move this back just a little bit. I'm going to connect the voltmeter's probes here to the terminals of my battery. I'm going to go black wire to common. All right. And I'm going to go red wire over here, which is my positive terminal of my battery. To the terminal here. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on and what you'll see is that we end up getting 0 0.984 0 0.984 volts from this one battery. Okay so we are getting a voltage we are getting voltage from our actual battery here. Now so remember we talked about the LED before now that 0 0.984 volts is not enough to light up that LED by itself. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm now going to introduce my second battery here. And let's just clear, clear up the space a little bit. I'm going to introduce my second battery here. And in order to do that, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to connect the two batteries together. Now, similar to when you have a uh, toy car or something of the sort, what we have to do is we have to connect the positive terminal here or that copper terminal to the negative terminal of the second battery so that we can get a higher voltage. 
All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my green wire here and I'm going to connect that wire to the edge of the cup. Okay. And I'm going to remove the red wire from this copper wire over here so that I can connect the green wire to this copper wire. All right. Okay, so here we go. And so now you'll see that we have that green wire going from the from the zinc wire over here to the copper wire over here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the last copper wire that we have and we're going to connect that with the red wire over here. Okay, so I now have a positive terminal, negative terminal, positive terminal, negative terminal, copper wire, zinc, copper wire, zinc. Okay, and if we now go ahead and take our voltmeter, and so let's move this back just a little bit so that we can actually see here, and I'm going to connect my voltmeter on here. So we're going to connect the black wire here or the negative terminal of this battery to the voltmeter's uh, negative or common terminal. We're going to connect the positive terminal of this battery to the red terminal here. And what you'll see on my voltmeter as soon as we get it on the screen here is that we have a total of 1.966 volts coming from the two batteries combined. So we have a much higher voltage at this point, which is good. And this is enough, should be enough to light up our LED. Okay. So now to light up our LED, let's reintroduce our LED here. So this is our LED and the LED typically you have a shorter leg. And on that side where you have the shorter leg, there's a, the, the actual top of the LED, it's actually flat at the side here, okay? And that side is actually the negative side of the LED. So the side I'm actually on right now is the negative side. That's the, the side with the shorter leg and the flat side of the casing there, all right? So we're gonna connect that to our negative end of our battery here and now the positive side which is the other side the side with the longer leg we're going to connect over on the with the red terminal here or the positive terminal from our two batteries all right and so when i connect that now whoops okay and i turn the light off what you'll notice is that there is a real faint red light coming from the battery uh, from the LED. Okay, so let's see if we can get that to show just a little brighter. There it is. Okay, so if we turn the light back on, you'll notice that the LED is right here. Okay, and let's go ahead and turn the light back off. You'll see that there is that faint, really faint red light here that's uh, showing. Okay, so that proves that our battery here has the capability of lighting up our LED. Okay. All right. So question is at this point, how in the world does this actually work? Okay. That's a question. How is this actually working? All right. So in order to answer that question, and I'm going to move over here just a little bit over on this side because we actually got a little bit of lemon juice on the paper here. And I'm going to zoom in just a little bit here. Okay. All right. So let's talk about how this actually occurs. So we have our lemon battery that's there, right? And inside a lemon battery, again, there was there's acid. In this case, it's lemons, lemon, uh, lemon. So that means it's uh, citric acid, just like a battery. A battery would have some sort of acid on the inside. 
we have two electrodes coming from the battery of two different metals. In this case, mine is zinc, which is, and that's a negative terminal of my battery. And we have copper on the other side, which is a positive terminal of the battery. Okay, and let's just zoom in a little bit more. All right, so what exactly is going on in terms of the battery here? How is this actually working? Well, what's happening is when we put these two metals inside of the acid, we get a chemical reaction that actually occurs on the inside. Okay, the chemical uh, reaction that occurs, what happens is when this zinc metal here gets inside of the acid or is inside of the acid, what ends up happening is we end up getting a zinc ion, positive ion, that leaves the zinc wire here. Okay, leaving the wire with a net negative charge here or or it leaves electrons behind. So now we have zinc positive ions that are now floating inside of the acid, okay? What happens over here on for the copper is the copper ends up gaining positive ions, okay? The copper ends up give, gaining positive ions on this side because of the chemical reaction of the copper inside of the acid. So that becomes, uh, these become positive ions, okay? And when this becomes positive ions and this end is negative, so you have a difference in potential now between these two electrodes, okay? So now if we now go and connect this, these two electrodes, let's say to a voltmeter and complete the circuit, okay? What happens is this voltmeter will see some voltage across it. Now, when we did it the first time across just one battery, we saw a voltage of, what was it, a 0.986 voltage approximately, volts approximately, okay, which made the, uh, which indicated that there was a voltage being produced from the lemon battery, okay? Now, when we actually connected now the diode to this battery, all right, and the schematic symbol for a diode is a triangle with the straight line in front. What happened was the uh, current or, uh, flowed from the positive terminal over to the negative terminal. Okay, current flowed in this direction through the through the through the diode, and this side of the diode is called the anode, and this side of the diode is the cathode. Okay. And the reason we had the current flowing through there was because we had the electrons that we had the net negative charges or electrons on this end, which flowed in the opposite direction through the uh, diode. OK, so this is what was occurring inside of the circuit that we created there. All right. So this is a good activity for, let's say, kids or older uh, college level students to just uh, get a better idea as to how chemical reactions, uh, electricities, and how batteries actually work. Uh, if you want to find more experiments uh, related to electrical engineering or physics, you can de definitely look at my YouTube channel or you can check out my website for more advanced projects. My website is www dot Again, that's www.clyletsum.com.